I am not a poet. First and foremost, I am not a poet. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I think in my entire life, not including school, I have written three poems. One of them was meant to be sort of narrative and I just sort of turned into a poem because it didn't seem to go with anything else. And the other one was just literally me writing down some of my feelings at the time. That sort of just turned into a poem as well. But the one I'm going to read today actually is a poem, maybe? Question mark? I'll leave that one up to you to decide. To, yeah, to decide. I wrote it. I, I wouldn't have written it if I hadn't been asked to. I was not at school because this was only two years ago and I've been out of school for eight years. It was, it was at a place for after school for those who didn't like complete their education like me so I dropped out when I was 16 it, and yeah I was there for a maths thing but I think they were doing like a collective thing where they were like asking students to write poems to put into like a booklet or something and I was asked and I thought okay I'll give it a shot and I'd had this dream recently about vampires and things and I thought I'm gonna use that idea and thus this seven verse uh, rhyming poem was born I have no idea if it's good I don't know enough about poetry the irony is, is that they only wanted like three verses and I just went to town on it I kept writing it even after I'd left the place it's called The Learning Shop. After I left The Learning Shop, I just kept writing it. And I did actually turn it into a story. Which, I suppose I did finish, but it was like very bare bones. It was more like a skeleton of a story. And I did sort of start fleshing it out, and then I just sort of stopped for whatever reason. Like I do with a lot of my stories. Might pick it up again. I keep everything I write, literally everything, just in case I do go back to it. I can't think of one I have gone back to yet, but there's still time. But yeah, this poem, if you hadn't already uh, discerned that from the title of this video, is called The Ballad of Betty Black. It's very music-oriented and, well, yeah, as I said, it's about vampires, so I suppose it's fantasy as well, but I was very into music, particular bands at the time, so they're in there too. But I shall start. Seven verses, bloody hell. Okay, here we go. If it's shit... This is not the poem, this is just me. If it's shit, you are allowed to tell me. It's okay, I won't be offended. It's something I already kind of know. Okay, on we go. Betty Black was a mysterious girl who had seen almost all of the world. Then on a cloudy eve in a lonesome town, she took it upon herself to settle down. Sleeping in her bed all the bright day, from dusk till dawn, music she did play. She loved Nirvana and Ten Thousand Things, both of whom she'd seen live watching from the wings. Ram Jam was once held high in her esteem, for Be Black Betty once had been her theme. But Joy Division had a special place in her heart. It was a tragic day that forced them to part. Betty was her mother's name as well, and all the men in her life thought she was swell. But she disliked people despite her lifestyle, and thus enjoyed being alone for a while. The digital age she did despise, she longed for the days when it was treasured to be wise. She was as pale as death and as thin as a rake, but nobody's criticism did she take. And yet she had a secret so deep from everyone she had it to keep, that she took a drink of crimson delight, not often but once every fortnight. For many years she'd been a collector of books, but found difficulty in finding ones with good hooks. She loved watching films by herself, having many a box set upon her shelf. Every full moon she took a walk in the park, appreciating the peace and the voice of the dark. Then one evening someone entered her life, and by accident from her heart removed the lonely strife. Then it transpired they were both nocturnal, and so it seemed their kinship was eternal. Her newfound love had a name, and it was Oz, and he was the most handsome janitor there ever was. When time had passed she told him all, though to him the secret mattered small. They need never again lengthen their stride, knowing they had the other by their side. And before either knew it was done, the two kindred spirits had become one. And that's The Ballad of Betty Black. It's inspired by every band mentioned in the poem, plus the dream I had. Uh, I will admit, combined, 
bit of that Byzantium movie that came out in 2012. And Twilight. What can I say? Not much. I'm going to save my diatribe about Twilight for another video entirely. Yeah. Also, by the way, check out the bands. I mean, everybody's heard of Nirvana and Joy Division, or at least they should have. Joy Division is the best, but again, that's for another video too. 10,000 Things is very, very not well known. I really like them. They were, I think they were in like early 2000s. They sort of did... It was like a cross between sort of rock and roll and punk. Like it took all the good stuff from the 70s and the 80s and put a spin on it. But uh, they got a really bad review from enemies. They didn't get very far. I have not read that review. I haven't even found... Well, to be honest, I haven't even looked for it. I probably should do that. Ram Jam. Black, Be uh, Black Betty by Ram Jam. I found completely by accident. And I thought it was really cool. And Betty Black seemed like a really cool name. So I did kind of steal it. Don't tell anyone. Shh. But yeah. I recommend everything I've mentioned in this poem. And... As I said, there would be there is a link to where it's actually published in the video description. So if you want to read it, maybe leave a comment there. That's fine too. I accept and take into account all criticism. Literally, I want to know how to do better. So if you think of something, don't be afraid to let me know. Don't be afraid to brag me to 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 pieces. I'm not sure that's a sentence, but go for it. Rag me to pieces because. Frankly, I need to know these things. I want to be better. I can't promise that I'll change anything of what I'm like as a person, but maybe I can change my craft. I can improve my craft. Because that's what all artists should want to do, is improve their craft. And I, I'm i on the DeviantArt page of my poem now, and I only just realised there's actually already a copyright marker next to the thing. I've been putting them in the description for, like, ages. Oh, well, I suppose two's better than none. Moving on from something. I did that thing again where I can't remember what I was talking about. In these these recitations, I was actually only going to like read the poem, but I feel like a little background and a little explanation might be good as well. If not, you can let me know about that as well. Because anything, literally anything you can tell me that's good or bad, I would love to hear about. So please do. And I'm going to take this time to thank everybody who's subscribed to me lately. That was a real blast getting all those notifications and all the comments I got on my Art on the Internet video. So helpful. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it all. And I appreciate you all. So, I'm not going to say all the stuff. Don't subscribe if you don't want to. Don't like the video if you didn't like it. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. I hope you liked it, but I'm not holding that hope. Or am I? I think I'm contradicting myself now. Okay, that's enough. Oh yeah, there is one thing. No, it's not. That doesn't actually, it's not relevant. i got to think of something to put in the next video. But as I said, or as I wrote rather, because I didn't actually forget, I didn't actually remember to mention it. It won't be every Sunday and Wednesday that I post something, but I'll certainly try and think of something. And since I have like a, a wealth of crap to read out, I might as well make the effort. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you around. Cheers and peace out. And it turns out peace out is something that's in my vocabulary. I say it loads. Peace out and God bless. Goodbye. Hello. Damn it. I, I gotta work this phone better. Brilliant. Stop.